Hello, good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Okay, why do you say sorry, Marcos? I not very my view camera. Oh, okay, okay. But, uh, because I watch uh, my family watch the selector. But you're in the class? Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, <laughs> I see some people are watching the, the, the selector game. Hoy se van a estar viendo unos la selecta y ahí se va a escuchar en el background, right? But let's hope we are in classes today. Okay, so welcome everybody and thank you for your puntuality. Heidi, yes, thank you very much for writing the date. That is the date for today. So good job, good job doing it. Okay, perfect. Now, um, welcome Liliana again, okay, because I haven't seen you like since last week maybe so welcome back to the class and uh, no uh, well uh, i didn't stay in the class because i i'm back to the salvador and well uh, was uh, a lot of things of uh, that, that i need to do and well i'm sorry uh, that's the reason that i can't stay in the class but you are back in the classes now, right? Yes, yes. Did you get jet lag? Of course. Um, I, I didn't sleep at night and I want to sleep in the day. Yeah, that's what I was guessing because like it's a different time zone. I remember you were saying uh, when here was this like 8 p.m. in Belgium. Belgium, that's what, where you were, right? Yes. Belgium was like 3 a.m. in the morning. Yes, uh, in Belgium, I was sleeping at 4 a.m. Uh, because I, I I need to stay in the class. And uh, well, to, now it's, it's, it's a little bit difficult uh, because I want to sleep, but I try to to stay wake up uh, during the day and well, so how, when did when did you come back to El Salvador? Uh, I was back in the uh, Monday, 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 Monday. So you're still getting used yes. to it. Yes, because uh, beside I stay in the class in the university, and well, it's a little bit difficult uh, for the homeworks, and uh, that's the the. There are all of things that I need to do during the day. Yeah, 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 yeah. I understand. I understand. But thing, good thing you're back, and yes, just to get used to the new schedule. Okay, guys. Um, yesterday we were practicing a tongue twister. That was a long one. That was a new one. So I'm trying to challenge you to new tongue twisters because I believe that you can do better with your pronunciations, okay? So I'm gonna be sharing the one that we have for today, but before we start, well, Heidi already did it, but can you write the date in the chat, guys? Okay, just let me know what day is today. Remember to write it correctly. Today is two, but I told you what is the difference when it's about the date, okay? So everybody send me the date here in the chat and obviously choose Inglés Corporativo to send it to. Okay, good job, Haiti. Good job, Marcos. Adriana. Just, Adriana, just a little thing. Don't write the zero next to the two, okay? Just write the number two. Okay, sure. Mm -hmm. The other one's Glenda. Good job. 
Well, but just a question to Glenda, Julio. Today is Tuesday? Aha, mm -hmm. we're living in the past. No, today is not Tuesday. <laughs> today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, that is correct. Today is Wednesday, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just correct that. Um, Glenda and Julio. Uh, good job, Liliana. Okay, so now, guys. <laughs> My cat is doing something. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> right now, guys, we're going to go with Tuesday, February 2nd, 2022 or 2022, as you know. Let me share my screen with you. Remember, um, so we're looking at this, the, the passive overview, and we're talking about the, pre the past perfect, okay? But let me do this here. It's not the topic we have for today. So this is not a topic, wait a second. But yeah, like I was telling uh, the classmate here, don't write it like this because it's not necessary in English. Just do it like this, okay? So today is Wednesday, February 2nd, 2022 or 2022, okay? So let me, can you hear my cat guys? Or not? <laughs> not this year. No, you cannot. I don't know. No, she, me. She's fighting. She's doing something weird. I don't know what she's doing. She's 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 just being a cat. Wait a second. Okay, so this is the topic we have for today. So can you read the topic, please, Jasmine? <clears throat> sure. Uh, the topic for today is 4.9, past perfect, positive, and ne negative uh, statement. Thank you very much. So, yes, we're, we're going to see, so like yesterday, remember the present perfect is to talk about experiences. For example, I was telling you, I have traveled to Europe. I have been there. So we're talking about experience, something that we did. Now, when we talk about the past perfect, we're talking about events that happened early in the past, remember? So for example, I'm telling you, I came home and you had eaten the food. So the first thing that happened is the person in the house ate the food and then I came home, right? So that's why I'm using the past perfect to talk about an early event. Do you remember that from yesterday? Or no? Yes, Jasmine yes. says yes, Glenda says yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, now uh, we're gonna continue with that, but with the question, the negative statements and the question forms. But before we start with that, we're gonna continue practicing this, the pronunciation practice. So now, remember, we're making an emphasis of on the sound of the letter S and the letter S together with the letter H. Okay, so remember, it's different from the last one that was how much would, would I would chuck. Chuck in this case is not ch, in this case is sh. Okay, so that's what we're practicing this week. I'm going to repeat this for you. Remember, first thing you need to do is to try to say every word. Then you can go fast, then you can add the speed. But the first thing is to say every single word with the correct pronunciation. So let's go with it. She sells seashells by the seashore. Seashore, no seashore, como me estaban diciendo. She sells seashells by the seashore. Second line. The seashells she sells are seashells. I'm sure. 
Ahí no dice I am sure. Hay un contraction. So we use the contraction. I'm sure. I'm sure. So if she sells seashells by the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shells. I'm gonna repeat it one more time. Remember, this is to practice. You need to practice. I'm not the one practicing. You are the one practicing. She sells seashells by the seashore. The seashells she sells are seashells. I'm sure. So if she sells seashells, tampoco digan seashells, seashells, no, seashells. She sells seashells by the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shells. I'm gonna do it a little bit faster right now. She sells seashells by the seashore. The seashells she sells are seashells, I'm sure. So if she sells seashells by the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shells. Okay? Let's try to go with the pronunciation first. Every single word. Then when you have practiced a lot, then you can add the speed. For example, she sells seashells by the seashore, the seashells she sells are seashells, I'm sure. So if she sells seashells by the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shells. Something like that. Okay. But first, pronunciation. That's the first thing you need to do. Don't go fast, go with the pronunciation. So I'm gonna send you to practice a little bit and then we come back here. Practice and help your classmates. Guys, if you hear someone say, chesels, and instead of she sells, you say, hey, it's not she sells, it's she sells. Try to help them, try to explain to them. Be a classmate, okay? Don't be like, me voy a reír y no le voy a decir nada para cuando se lo diga la teacher, se escuche todo chistoso, okay? So try to explain and try to help each other. Janet, are you there? Hello?
Jose, hello, welcome to the class. Hello, teacher, hello. What <laughs> happened? Were you watching the game? <laughs> what happened? Were you watching the game? Uh, El juego, uh, estaba viéndolo? The Selecta game? No, teacher, no. Ah, uh, okay. Just uh, arrived the, the work. Ah, okay, okay. What is it? Just arrived from work? Yes, just arrived from work. Así que from work, from work. Okay. I uh, just arrived from work. <laughs> okay, perfect. Don't worry. So I'm going to send you here to a breakout room where your classmates are practicing, okay? Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. There.
I have a little bit problem with my ear and a coach. Janet, what is happening? I don't know the the app um out me. Me saca. Oh, okay, okay. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Um, maybe. So, did you check the speed of your internet connection? Uh, right now, no, because I'm by myself. No? Okay, okay, okay. So, but right now, ahorita como lo ve, como, como, como me escucha. A little bit stuck. Vale, ya reinició el modem. Okay, I don't know, grabado. Maybe because uh, my cell phone is the uh, gama and I stay. Uh, estoy bajo. Está qué? Bajo el plato. Anta la casa y aquí abajo acá me llega el inter también. Pero ah. estoy cocinando, no puedo subir. Ah, ok, 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 ok. So, pero está sola. Ya intentó ya ir reiniciar el teléfono. Perdón, sí. el modem, perdón, el modem. Sí, el modem está bien, pero como estoy aquí abajo y estoy con el teléfono que es eh, de baja gama, no agarra uh -huh. mucho el inter. Vaya, entonces ya vamos a esperar que vengan sus classmates. No la voy a mandar al grupo para que no la vaya a sacar. Ok. Sí, se me corta. Cuando está hablando se me corta por ratito. Ok, ok. Ahorita van a regresar. Vamos a esperar okay, a los que yes, regresan. I could uh, into the class as well. Because of the internet or why? Um, it's one of the reasons, the second reason is because I went to the other place to do different something. Okay, so and you were doing I, other I, stuff. Yes. Okay. Yeah, sorry for that. It's okay, don't worry, it's okay. I only need to end the section five. I finished the other. Oh, okay, that's good. That's good. You're, so you're working ahead. That's important thing. You're working ahead. I finished uh, two days ago. <laughs> okay, okay. So that's good. So it means that now you're working on section five, which is the final section, right? Yes. Okay, perfect, guys. So welcome back here. And now let's try to see how you practice. Does someone want, wait, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Okay. So you want to try to say it, guys? Does someone want to try to say it? Ah, so you're shy today. You don't want to try. Aha, uh -huh. what's happening? <laughs> I want to try, but I not prepare. Okay, okay. So you want to try, or you want to try tomorrow? No, I want to try. Okay, okay, perfect. You want me to share my screen, maybe, so you can read it. Yes, please. Okay, wait a second, I'm gonna do it right now. Okay, there you go. Uh, yes, thanks. She sells seashore by the seashore. The seashore she sells are seashore, I'm sure. So I seashore, she sells seashore by the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shell. Chill. Good job, Janet. Just help me here. Read this part again. Read this part again. Leame solo este pedacito aquí. Solo este pedacito aquí, leame. So, if 
she sells seashells. Okay, there, the there. there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's because I, I didn't hear this part, but thank you very much. So who's going to be the next person to participate? Aha, uh -huh. come on. I know you can do it. Don't be shy. <laughs> Glenda, you want to try? Yes, please. Okay. Mm. She sells seashells by the seashore. The shells she sells are seashells, I'm sure. So if she sells seashells by the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shells. Okay, I think, creo que se me comió unas partecitas por ahí, tal vez por los nervios, pero lo dijo perfecto. You say it correctly, but yes, just no, a little I'm bit. not nervous, but... Um, I'm trying. Just okay. Trying. <laughs> okay, but you did a good job with pronunciation. Thank Excellent. you. Excellent. Let's go with Marcos, who has the hand up. Okay, Marcos. She sells by the seashore, the seashells. Wait, let's try again. She sells okay. by the seashore, the chisels, she sells are seashell, I'm sure. So if she sells seashells by the seashore, then I'm sure she sells it all short. Okay, here you say only, can you repeat this part? The seashells. Seashells, okay, okay, okay. Because you say something different in the beginning, but good job, good job. Okay, guys, so let's give an applause to the classmates who did a good job. Remember, if you don't do the applause, it's envidia de la mala, de la que corroe, de la que daña el corazón. Perfect, good job. Now, we completed that. So I'm gonna go here with the past perfect. Just to remind you that the past perfect is to talk about early events in the past, like we were talking about yesterday. Now, let me explain to you a little bit about the structure of the past perfect. So when you write an example like you had you had seen you had seen the picture you had seen the picture okay just an example in this case we're using an, a structure and a specific structure so what is you you is the subject of this statement, then had is the auxiliary that is gonna help me with the present, I mean the past perfect. Then we write the verb in, so actually this verb seen in the present is see. What is the past of see? So, so, so. so. And then no. seen, what is seen? Visto. Visto. Yeah, but the Pare. structure, but what is the structure? Uh, the past perfect verb. The past, yeah, past perfect verb, but yeah, past, how do we call this? Did we call it? Participle. Past <laughs> participle, okay. Past part, we're gonna write it like this like that, better, past participle, and then we add a complement, obviously. So when you're talking about the past perfect, you need to keep in mind that you need to follow this structure, okay? This structure right here. Let's do another example with the same structure. She had four Got in. Uh, huh? Hi. Could Hello. you send? Hi, coach. Could you send the, the structure and the other thing that you're writing right now by the WhatsApp later, please? Maybe someone can take a screenshot and send it. So if you mind, guys, can someone? Yo les digo al final que tome una captura y le envíe. Ahorita solo la voy a poner aquí. ¿Ok? ¿Yes? ¿Puede alguien hacernos eso? No, I, I can. ¿Alguien puede hacernos el favor? Yeah or not? Sure, I, I can do it. 
Ok, thank you, thank you, thank you. Ok, you had seen the picture, pero yo les digo al final, cuando ya está toda la pantalla. You had seen, uh, so we have here subject, we have had, we have the past participle, and then we have a complement. Now, with this rule, please, can you send me one example using that structure here in the chat of Zoom? Please send me an example using the same structure. To all the class or only? No, you? only to me, only to English Corporativo, please. <laughs> you're you're <laughs> you're using the same verbs I used. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. she, uh, she had done her activities, maybe. Okay. Okay. It's correct. Yeah, it's correct. She had she had done it. But she had completed her activities, maybe. Okay, I'm waiting for the other ones. Okay, perfect. Now, let me see the examples that we have here. <laughs> Marcos, good job. Julio, good job. Mm, Glenda, past participle. And the verb look is had, no has, had. Had. Okay, Miss, you're right. Mm -hmm. G, yes, good job, yes. Jasmine. Slept, yes, he yes, slept. Good job, Adriana. Thank you, Miss. Yes, Miguel, good job. But then you corrected yourself, it was had, right? Yes, Heidi, that is correct. Glenda, also you're writing he has and it's he had with the um, had. Okay, me. Because remember, this is the past perfect. In the present perfect, yes, it's has, but in the past perfect, it's had. Okay, let's go now. Now, for the negative structure, it's super, super easy, guys. It's the same thing. But in this case, for example, we're going to use the same example that we have there. Like that. Okay. So when we're going to make these statements negative, the only thing that we need to do is to add. So we have subject, we have had, and then we add not. Then we add the past participle. 
and then we add the complement like that. Okay, subject had not past participle and complement. But usually, guys, people, uh, let me do something. Okay, so, but usually, guys, people will only do this. Instead of writing, you had not seen the picture, they are going to join had with not, and they are going to do the contraction, hadn't, 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 okay? So this one is going to be, she hadn't, hadn't forgotten her wallet. Okay, like that. So the only thing that it's gonna change is this. You're gonna add the negative form to the structure, okay? Do you get it? It's not so difficult. It, I think it's very basic and easy to do. Okay, now let's go here. May yeah. I have a question. Uh -huh. in, this, in this case, is um, unnecessary? Uh, use not or the contraction. Si, cuando es negativo, es necesario utilizar not. Es necesario usar la contracción, contracción ahí. Ok, so, usted me dice que si quiere decirlo como had not. Sí, si sí, puede decir had not. Sí, oh, yes, part. yes, you can say had not, but most people most people are gonna use the contraction, but you can perfectly say she had not forgotten her wallet. And this statement is correct. It's correct if you say it like this, it's correct. But the only thing is that the most used one is this one. So in the United States and in many other countries, even in England, you're gonna hear a lot of people using contractions. But yes, you can say it like this, Marcos. Both are correct. That was your question? Yes. Okay, perfect. Now let's go with questions in this case. Remember, like always, to open a question, we're going to use the auxiliary or we're going to use do or etc. In this case, the auxiliary is had. So obviously, we're going to open the question with had. Had you been there? Habías estado ahí? Had you been there? Had you been there? So now for this, we have. The beginning of the question is going to be with had, then it's going to change with the affirmative statement. It's going to change. Had, then we add the subject, then we add the verb in the past participle. And we write the complement. And at the end, what is the name of that thing we write at the end? What is the name? Question mark. Question mark, perfect. Yeah. So we're gonna add at the end the question mark like that. So the rule to follow in this case is this one. Had, subject, past participle, complement, and question mark. Then guys, for the answers is very easy to do because you have a closed question. So you only gonna answer yes, or you only, you're only gonna answer no. So, but if we say yes, yes, they are asking me. So I'm gonna use yes, I, because that's my subject. And then we're gonna use the auxiliary, had. Yes, I had. Had you been there? Yes, I had. Then the negative, it will be no. I hadn't, like that. No, I hadn't. Had you been there? Yes, I had. No, I hadn't, okay? Do you have questions about it? Or is every, everything clear? It's clear. 
Ok, now you can take a screenshot. Pueden tomar el screenshot para mandar al grupo. So now you can take the screenshot and send it to the group for the classmate who asked for it. Ok. Let me know when you do it. Done. Perfect. Ok, so now. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now I want you to send me a negative example and a question. Okay, negative and question. Send it to the chat. I need to see if you're understanding. Okay, let's do it now. I'm gonna be waiting for you. Okay, I'm looking at your examples right now. Can I tell you my example because I can write it? Okay, tell me the negative first. The negative? Yeah. She hadn't uh, thought in, the, in, the, in her project and the question, had she thought in her project. <laughs> okay, okay, the same example. Okay, perfect, thank you. <laughs> Arisen. Miss, I, I, I think this is the right. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. Me está hablando dos personas a la vez, a ver. Okay, um, Marcos, and then Julio. Miss, and my example, the question is correct, right? No. I have a use. Uh, that's, you have that. Yes, because the auxiliary, it's going to be first and then the subject. So had, he, and then the verb needs to be in past participle. So had he seen the selecta? Like this, look here. We're writing here, seen, seen, past participle. Yeah. Okay. I, I was saying yeah, Julio, in my Julio, case about the sample, I think a rising is the past part participle from arise. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm not sure really. So resucitado. That's what you want to say. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 Oh, very good, Jasmine. You're also adding the early past and then the past simple when he left. That is the past simple. Good job, good job, good job. I like it. Okay. Now, guys, let me do something really quick. Okay. 
We're gonna work, we're gonna work, we're gonna work. Okay, we're gonna work on this worksheet, okay? So in the first part, you need to choose the correct one, okay? The past simple is that thing that is simple in the past and the present, oh, present perfect, no, déjenme. <gasps> Olviden, no, no entren ahí porque esto me está hablando del presente perfecto. No, it's not present perfect, it's past perfect. Past perfect. Yeah, this is, this is it. And this is very easy to do. Eh, está bien fácil. Super easy. Nope. Oh, ignoren el primer link que les mandé. That's not the correct one. This is the correct one. Okay. So let's go ahead with that one. And it's going to be like this. Look. So here you have the explanation, actually. So this is the explanation. And the only thing you need to do is to read the statements and complete them. For example, let's complete number one together. When I turn on the radio, the news... ¿Qué pasó cuando encendí la radio? The news... The news... Finish it. Finish it. If finish it es lo correcto. Dijimos que... Shh, shh. Sería finish... Finished. Finished. Okay? Remember, it's finished. But what is missing? I have something missing. Just... I need to add something else besides finished. The auxiliary. Uh -huh. Had finished. Like that. Had finished. That's the only thing you need to do, guys. It's super easy. This activity is more than easy. Okay? So let me see here in the examples. Yeah. So in the computers, again, Marcos, are you on a computer? No, on my cell phone. Okay. So Miguel, are you on a computer? No? So who's from a computer? Nobody's from a computer today? So Jose, Jose Manuel? I am on, the, on computer. Okay, so Julio and, and Jose Manuel. Julio, Julio, Julio. Okay, we're gonna complete this exercise. Remember to share the screen and everybody needs to participate. When you finish this activity, please guys, please, Try to read that because you see the example right now. It's not finished, it, it's finished. Try to practice that. Yasmin.
contactos con esto, con algo. Hadn't in negative or hadn't? Hadn't, hadn't, hadn't. In H E D D D N D N N apostrophe G. No, 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 pegado, pegado, pegado. Ah, también. Oh, okay. okay. Have okay. not. That's right. On not the way. Yeah. That's right. Change. It's correct. Yeah. And the other is we didn't get a driver on the first one because we. We haven't. We haven't made. Hadn't. I hadn't my main madre se escribe. Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hey, it's my name. Uh, <laughs> when Janet <laughs> went back to the hotel, she only only this example Janet is a reply. The question, the answer. She she had what? Uh -huh. She had both um, souvenirs. Excellent. Let's see. By the time I gave you back the book, I have read, read it carefully. Read it. Read it. Slow. The movie hadn't start. What's that? It's hard. It's hard. <laughs> uh. Started. Started. Yes, that's a pronunciation. Started. Started. No, but only one T. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Started. To the theater. Had your brother? Eating. Breakfast when he left. Okay. No, only only Bert. He didn't. Breakfast when he left. He didn't. Uh, with with one with with one T. He didn't. A T E A. Had your brother A? Yes, I think. Oh. Only mm. one T in the. Yes, it is. Yes. Woo! Oh. Good job, oh. good job. We are the champion. <laughs> you have to use the construction, I think. Uh -huh. 
I use the contraction and the. Uh, use my... having. Mm -hmm. The recording in progress. <laughs> I listen every day the recording in progress. Yes, every time I go to a break room, every time I connect to the class, it says recording in progress. Yes, I know. So the last group don't they don't want to come, huh? Interesting. Gabriela, Haiti. They don't want to go. No se quieren ir estas personas. Miren, they are chilling. No lo he terminado, quizás. No, si ya lo terminaron, lo vi. Se sacaron 10 de 10. Oh, no quedaron. Yeah, they finished, but they don't want to come here. Hmm. They want to leave the class. It's time already. What was the problem in our answer? Maybe the... The contractions. The huh? yeah. contractions. contractions. Yeah, the abbreviations. Yes, that was the problem. Okay, guys. So we were practicing there mm -hmm. in right now, as you know, we are in overtime so far. So it's time to leave. So have a good night and I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Okay, me see you okay. tomorrow. Okay. Have a good night. Tomorrow. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.